Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you a trip that we do sometimes in the area that I live in because it's close by. Uh, we start off in East Mountain in Colchester County and we drive about 65 to 70 kilometers north up towards Tatamagush. We have lunch at a restaurant called Big Al's and then we turn around and can take the same route back. There are a few different variations. I've seen other people do a few loops and so forth but it requires driving on the road a bit in some of those places so I just kind of go up one way and then backtrack the other way. If you like watching the videos that I put out, please click the red subscribe button below. And then once you click the red subscribe button, hit the little icon that's next to it. That will notify you of every time I upload a new video. Thank you. You'll notice I have a riding partner today. It's my buddy Paul. Usually he takes his own machine. At this point he was driving a Kawasaki Terex 4, but on this day uh, his son's driving it uh, with his girlfriend and Paul came with me. And um, Paul has since this video, uh, since I filmed this video anyway, uh, traded in his Kawasaki Terex and got a CF Moto a Z Force 1000. Uh, you'll see that in some of the Newfoundland videos that I'm going to post uh, later on in the fall here. And actually you probably, you might have noticed it in the, New, uh, uh, the Cape Breton video that I just posted a few days ago. Something else you've probably noticed is that I'm driving with my windshield in uh, in this video, which I usually don't do unless it's cold, uh, like the winter time. But uh, this was one of my first rides uh, earlier this summer, and I hadn't had a chance to take it off yet. Yeah. And there was a lot of rain that night and that morning, so I figured there'd be a lot of big puddles, so I decided to just leave it on to uh, protect us a bit from, uh, from some of the puddles we were no doubt going to be hitting pretty hard. Even though I've got a full windshield, uh, you'll probably notice there's that's about a three inch gap at the top near where the roof uh, meets up. Yeah. I've got a canvas roof on the top. I don't have the uh, Can-Am Sport roof that comes down over the windshield. So if I did, this wouldn't be a problem, but since I get that gap, sometimes water comes in uh, if I hit water holes a little, uh, a little fast. The girls will have t-shirts on. <laughs> <laughs> well, the back one is okay. Jacket zippered up. Just enough water comes in through here. Pull you off. Yeah, oh yeah. I saw I saw the last one you did and you just like that. Just went straight sideways. Yeah, it slowed us down a lot. Did you bring an extra jacket? A shirt? They're gonna make you they're gonna make you eat outside. Damn. 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 Suck it up. Suck it up. Look at you all dry. I know, right? The windshield's nice and tight. We got a big gap in ours. We're dry, like, yeah, we're a little bit on the side. Woo! Sam, I got a, I got a tarp in the back to put up there. Pulls you off. Definitely one of the problems with having a full windshield on a Can-Am Commander uh, is 
cab heat. Um, it gets really hot there if the weather's warm. It traps it all in. Uh, because of where the engine is, you're basically sitting on top of it in a k and Commander. It gets pretty warm in there. Sideways in the road and walk down a little bit with the windmill behind us. You get an awesome picture of your bike. 